Okay. So I'm going to talk about uh, a headphones that I found, some headphones I found on Amazon um, called, well, at least it says it on the uh, cups is VR here. Uh, on the box, it says something different. It says VR headphone. And on the website, it said something else. So I guess I'll, or the Amazon page, it actually referred to it as something else. So I'm calling it what it says on the cups, which is the VR here headphones. Uh, they are a universal VR style headphone that you put on. It's made for convenience. You put them on your headset um, and you just, you have the ability to just pull the thing on. You, it has a thing like the Bobo VR, if you know what that is. It has a audio cable. You plug the audio cable into your phone. You put the, the phone in and then you just pull the headset over your head and you don't have to go looking for your headphones or have or forget, you know, you put the headset on, you forget that you didn't get the headphones, take it off, blah, blah, blah. So it's it's ready to go. Okay, so uh, what are some of the problems? Well, I'll give you one big problem is it's an $18 headset. So that means audio quality isn't the best. It's not the worst. I've never, I've heard worse, but... This is definitely not something that an audiophile would want to pick up. The sound is a bit muted, kind of muddy in the lows. It's not like that high tinny sound you get from, you know, crappy uh, headphones down the street. It has a bigger sound than that. But if you don't give a fuck, um, like if you're happy with iPhone fucking headphones or something, this may be a step. I've never actually even heard iPhone headphones. But this may be a step up from that. Um, but it's it's more about like the convenience, and for eighteen dollars, it seems to be on par. It seems to be what I kind of expect, if not a little bit better than what I expect. I don't know, but the sound is, eh, eh, eh. It's definitely not going to make audio files happy. Um, you have to really want convenience and possibly not care about sound. Um, uh, which, yeah, but anyways, other than that, so you can put these on here. The problem I find with this is that you do have to make the strap bigger because these have to be rerouted over your, you know, over your actual ear lobe, the, your ear uh, canals, whatever, instead of having the strap go over the top of your ear. So your head has to be big enough to make the adjustment to the strap that will accommodate these headphones um, as well as your head or whatever. Uh, so... Yeah, it has to actually, your strap has to give you a decent uh, amount of wiggle room. So I tried this on four different uh, pair, uh, four different HMDs, four mobile HMDs. This does not work with like a PSVR style uh, head, headset. I do have the um, Mantis headphones that work with the Lenovo Explorer. But that's a different thing. I just wanted to point that out if you had that headset or something anyway so these um like i said you plug them in this does not work with android that's the volume adjustment but if you have a gear vr or something you have one on a controller so it's more convenient than that but if you're using cardboard it's kind of a disappointment you won't really be able to use that i'm sure that works on ios but not uh, I've never had anything like that work on even with the Bobo it never worked on on Android for me. Um, so the couple headsets that I have tried I tried both versions of the Daydream headsets, and both of those did not work. I will bring one over right now. I have all the headsets over here, but I don't need all of them right now. So I'm gonna show you what's going on with that. Let me get this out of the way. So here's the, the new Daydream headset. And the problem with the Daydream headsets is that the strap is all the way up here. Instead of like in the middle or something. So because it, when you put this, you put the headphones on here and you try to pull them over your ears, 
instead of putting about over your ear your ear uh, lobes or whatever whatever I'm talking about I'm saying it wrong but when you try to pull them over your ear it ends up making the headset pop up like that and then you have a whole bunch of uh, you know you see a whole bunch of daylight worse than the uh, first uh, daydream headset uh, the things just completely popped up on your face and just does not work like that so because of this strap um it doesn't work i mean i guess you could create your own strap with like velcro or something and velcro squares and and just put the thing on a different strap and then have that strap on while you have this strap on i said strap on ha 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 anyways so yeah you could have that but you know it just seems i don't know it's possible. It's not like it's expensive, but whatever. Um, so that did not work. Out of the box, it does not work with the Daydream headset unless you, like, modify the crap out of it or some shit. Um, the other headset that I did try it with was a, a cardboard-style headset, but uh, one more expensive, higher-end, I guess, cardboard headsets um, was the Homido V2. And that worked fine. Um, I was able to adjust the head, the strap, and get that on there so that you could use it. And I didn't try any apps, but I just tested to see if it would fit and to make sure that this didn't like pop up like the Daydream View headsets. And it did not. So that worked just fine. But of course. Yeah, that's the, the 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 make or break thing is the audio quality, and because it's an eighteen dollar headset, it's not going to blow you away with its audio quality unless you're used to lower audio quality, and that would be that. Uh, there is absolutely no tech technical information on these, so I don't know what anything is all I know is that it's in-ear headphones. They are oval, and they don't seem to be kind of uniform. The one seems a little more round than the other. So this one is a little more on the oval side. The other one's a little more round. So it looks like it was made by slaves or some shit. And... Oh, here's one, one big issue. When putting this headset on, you do have to pull it down by the cups because if you try to put it down by anything like the headset onto your head, the cups will pop off because they're not really held in by anything but this clip that easily slides on and off. So you kind of have to pull it down by the cups, which you can get used to. <laughs> um... And is there much else to that? There's just this, there's two cables, one cable that connects it, one headphone to the other headphone. And there's one cable over here, which I actually found to be a slight issue because I have a Galaxy S8 and the headphone jack is on the other side. So you have to kind of wrap it around like this, plug it, plug it into the phone and then pop this in and you know, it's just on the wrong side. It would be better if it was on this side. Whatever, that's, you know, it depends on what phone you have. Um, other than that, um, I did have to move where the controller normally goes, the remote, because I needed to accommodate this ear cup, so I had to move that thing over. And other than that, I mean, I think if you had a bigger head, um, it may not work, so like I said, if, you know, you want to make sure that this thing's actually going to fit, and it's, it's a little hard for me to tell you everything because there are so many different headsets out there, um, that, you know, every headset is made a different way, and even though this says it's universal, it may not be so universal, as I already have two headsets that it simply doesn't work with. Other than that, um, I can't think of anything else. Um, yeah, these... Uh, oh, there's a good thing. Uh, as far as ear fatigue goes, I did experience a little bit of ear fatigue. 
Um, yeah, so ear fatigue was uh, was a thing. Um, it wasn't terrible, but it was noticeable. I'd noticed it while playing for about over an hour. I noticed a small amount of ear fatigue from these. I guess it could depend on the size and shape of your ears as well. How well your ears fit in the cups and everything. But yeah. Trying to think of anything else I may be forgetting about. Other than that. Um, hmm. Everything sounded fine, by the way, with, with games and apps. You know, like anything that wasn't really music or movie related. You know, I didn't have a problem with that. Uh, everything sounded fine. Um, the lows do, do seem to actually be decent with games and stuff. So, but when it comes to stuff that includes music, if you're watching the Plex VR or you're listening to music or movies or whatever, you may not be too happy. But like I said, I could use it fine, just fine with games. Um, it works fine. And about it. I mean, it takes forever to get to me. I'm I'm in the U.S. It's this is from China, and it took me just about a month or so to actually get to me. So it does take a while to ship. Uh, about all I can think of. I don't really like I said I don't have the tech specs or anything like that, so I don't know what I don't know much about. There's not a lot of information. It doesn't come with any instructions. I I don't know if I showed the box, but this is the box that it comes in. And it's really everything that was in the box um, is what's in the box now, I believe, which is that, this little thing here that comes out, and inside here, I believe was the cable or something, something like the cable, and outside of that, under here is nothing. And there's really nothing, as far as the information goes in the back, it just says what it is. Um, oh, it tells you the response. I didn't even notice that. It says, 3D sound, virtual channels, 5.1, unit driver, diameter, th nah, I just spit. 40 millimeters impedance, uh, th yeah, sensitivity, 100, 100, ugh, 112 dB, uh, response 10 hertz 20 kilohertz so that's that's the information that's on the back and i don't even know if that's actually accurate info probably not there's a good chance because it's from china all this shit's bullshit so i don't even know what of that is even true <laughs> And I mean, the, the name doesn't even match. VR Earphone. Uh, VR here, and then there was a completely different name on Amazon, so. That's that. There you go. Congratulations. It's the entire box. So, uh, apparently you shouldn't go... You shouldn't use a, a, an umbrella in the rain. Um, you should recycle. Drink some wine. And uh, look up, I guess. That's that's what that says. So there's there's the review, or whatever you want to call it, of these headphones. And I uh, figured there was nothing online about it. And it didn't seem like anyone bought the stuff, so I decided to be the guinea pig. Because I thought it would be something I would like to have for conveniences, because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Thank you for watching.